we are the warning we are a three sister rock band from mexico Woohoo! i am the oldest i am daniela i'm the guitar player and lead singer of the band and i'm alejandra i'm the youngest and i'm the bass player of the band yes and pao who is missing is the middle sister she's the drummer of the band um and she wishes she were here she sends a big hello but she has like to do sound check and stuff so like yeah, totally makes sense. Uh, I imagine touring is probably like a lot less lonely with when you're with your family. Like it's it's probably nice to have each other. But do you ever do you get along on tour? Are there ever any hiccups? No, we no, we, we get along great. We are the best of friends. But yeah, you know, touring, especially since like uh, it takes a while. You know, there's tours that last like two months or even more uh, on the road, and everyone living in a bus is has its challenges <laughs> so there's always like you know um arguments and discussions to be had but still we love each other very much and we like um get through it very quickly okay that's good um and you were raised by a pretty musical family so like you started out with music pretty young but was there one of you who picked it up like quicker than the others was was there one of you that started it for the three of you you know, Pao and I started at the very same time with piano lessons, but she got the hang of it so quick. I was just like, what? <laughs> um, but yeah, no, it was, it kind of started with both of us and Ale was like a year old at that, yeah. <laughs> at that point. So, um, and eventually we just kind of like kept going and I started with my rock and roll instrument first. I grabbed the guitar when I was eight years old. Mm -hmm. And then Pa was six at the time, and a few months later she grabbed the the drum the drum kit. So, um, yeah, it it was kind of like at the same time. Yeah, it was almost. about the same time. Cool. Okay. And um, like you ladies are are pretty young, and you're already so accomplished. Like you and I are the the same age. I'm pretty sure. Um, yeah. yeah so. Uh, I have nothing but support for like young women getting into the rock and roll industry. Has there been any obstacles with that? Or have you found it um, being a little challenging being such young women getting into rock and roll? Yeah, you know, it was, uh, of course, every career has its obstacles, but still us being literal kids starting in the music industry and in the rock scene, um, especially that it's, you know, a very male... Dominated. dominated scene it was a little bit of a challenge for us to start for people to take us seriously more more than anything um we would get on stages and get looks from like what the hell is this like and then but we love that kind of like change that after we played everyone was just like whoa we love that that change and we like to prove that music and rock and roll is for absolutely everyone everyone can listen to it anyone can play it as long as you have the passion uh for it it's uh music is a language for absolutely everyone so yeah we had our obstacles and there's still more obstacles to overcome but we love to see that through time that that is changing more and more and that we get to see more uh women in the rock and roll scene and not only on stage but backstage as well you yeah. know in the crew with techs roadies and audio engineers we're just like go go get it <laughs> awesome and are there any specific like uh rock bands that inspire you guys or that really like paved your your direction for which way you wanted to go definitely mm -hmm. there is a lot that i don't think we would ever uh finish mentioning them but one of uh, the biggest bands in the early stages of our career that inspired us was definitely Muse. Muse. Mm -hmm. uh, them being a three piece, we're like super fans of Muse. Uh, we got a lot of influence from Queen, ACDC, Pink Floyd, and then kind of like got into our emo stage, emo uh, phase and went into full onto Paramore, My Chemical Romance, Hailstorm, all those uh, cool bands. So we're heavily influenced by all of them. Awesome. And uh, so how's it been on tour with Three Days Grace then? How are you guys finding it so far? Well, it's been great. It's been amazing. Yes. No. Um, actually, Three Days Grace as well was yeah. one of the a big bands. I, I stay after every concert just to like sing all the songs that are close to my heart and be just like, yeah, it's been absolutely amazing. Everyone in the crew is so nice. Uh, we feel welcome. 
um, and also like getting to play our music for the Three Days Grace uh, audience and family is absolutely great. And it's our first tour, like, like proper big tour, tour in, in Canada. Canada. So, so we're getting to know each and every of, place, yeah, and we love it. Well, that's great. And uh, you guys were saying you started off like really young because like in 2014, obviously you had that viral Metallica video of you covering Enter Sandman. You even got recognized by Kirk Hammett from Metallica. So because that was kind of like a huge moment for you guys, do you ever revisit that on tour? Do you play that song anymore? Or are you sick of it? You know, uh, we, we actually- stopped playing it for a while. We stopped playing it for Covers a while. Covers in general. Covers, yeah. We mm -hmm. just stuck to our own music. And then back in, well, last, last year, year mm -hmm. 2021, Metallica actually invited us to be a part of the Metallica Blacklist album, which was, you know, the 30th anniversary of the Black album. And a lot of different artists made their own version of the songs in the Black album. So they invited us to pick a song. And along with Alessia Cara, we made a New version version of Enter Sandman. Sandman that is on the album. So we play that. Um, it's a in very our set. different It's version. different, um, but we really wanted to, you know, get everyone's sound in there. So it's a mix of Alessia Cara's sound, Metallica sound, and our own sound in Enter Sandman, which is uh, a song that is very close to our hearts, especially because it was like literally the start of our career. Um, so we love playing that song and it's we really love uh, the crowd's reaction to it because it's so different, but you still feel like it's a Sandman. Sandman. Yeah. So, yeah. Cool. And uh, last question. I usually like to ask uh, ask fans this because you're, you're touring all over. You have kind of like a different lifestyle. It doesn't have to be about music, but what is something you learned this year? Wow. Something oh, that we learned this year. Always be prepared for every single type of different weather. Yes. <laughs> oh my god it's insane because sometimes on the same <laughs> tour you get like such different weather and you need to be prepared for everything for everything yeah. everything no kidding Crazy and we're from mexico so we're zero percent used to this cold weather right now in canada we're in shock really cold. <laughs> we are in shock yeah, well, this is a better week than last week, thank goodness. You guys are coming when it's a little bit warmer, so. <laughs> yes, yeah, but I had to, like, really shop cold. for my big jacket because, like, I did not come it's really prepared. Cold. It's really cold. <laughs> uh, well, it was so great chatting with you ladies, and we're looking forward to seeing you at the show tonight. Thank, thank you, you so, so much. much. Yes, thank you for your time. It was great, and we'll see you later.